and good morning, everybody. Monday, April 20th, 2009, on a cloudy, rainy day, I officially deem this recovery from the weekend Monday. Even though it was a spectacular thunder, and uh, the rain held off. Boy, what a great show that was. Had a great time down at the Louisville Science Center. That was fantastic. Congratulations to all the folks down there. Went up to Actors Theater. Becca and Terry were up there. Had a great time up there. Hope you had a good thunder as well. And now it is the countdown to Derby. Very exciting. Good morning, everybody. Dan Spangler. Thanks for joining us on the CW Louisville Live this morning. If we're talking Derby, we're talking hats. And we've got a wonderful hat designer here who's going to show us some wonderful things and give you an opportunity to uh, get in on the action as well. Did I get everybody? Good, all right, then let's start. Polly Singer is a hat designer. She's designed for the stars. She can design for you as well. And uh, Polly had a hard time picking out which hat she was gonna have on this morning. <laughs> I but I think you, you chose the right one, Polly. Thank you, it's thanks, Diane. Gorgeous. It's oh, gorgeous, it's gorgeous. How long have you been designing hats? Uh, for 16 years. Wow, 16 years. that's a long time. Now, you sure didn't grow is. up uh, as a as a child saying I'm going to do this uh, later on in I life. I sure didn't. No. no. So what didn't. what what happened? What was the change? What did you do before this? Okay. Well, uh, actually, I was pre-law to start with. Oh, okay. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> totally different from hats. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, worked in New York in the music business, which I loved. Yeah. But um, always wanted to work with my hands. You know, do something creative. Mm -hmm. And one morning I was getting ready to go to work and uh, got a hairbrush stuck in my hair. Uh huh and had to call my boss and tell him that I was running late. And of course, he didn't understand because he was totally bald. Ah, <laughs> so the hairbrush hair thing. Not a lot of sympathy. Not a lot of sympathy. Right. But a Billy Idol was coming into the office that day, and I wanted to you know, look, look good. good yeah. to look good. So I had to put a hat uh, on and wear it over the hairbrush <laughs> going to work. In Manhattan, uh -huh. you know, which anything goes in Manhattan. So, um, but it just really kind of got me into hats and loving hats. And then um, Billy was none the wiser. That Billy you had was a, none the wiser. He was none the wiser. Stuck. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, uh, but that kind of got me going to school and taking classes. And I just found I really liked it. Well, I, and you've you got know? some amazing stuff, and you've Thanks, designed Dan. for uh, for quite a few celebrities mm -hmm, along mm -hmm, the years as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I have Star Jones was one. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, The View contacted me and asked me to do two or three hats for her. Uh -huh. So, um, and they were on a deadline, so I had to stay up all night long oh. doing doing hats, sewing, practically falling yeah. asleep. But uh, but she's one, um, and probably one of my most famous. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, Jane Bashir. Oh, uh, of course, Kentucky's first, first lady. lady. Yes, who we're going to yes. be uh, talking with in uh, in just a couple of days as well about oh, uh, about Derby. And uh, she oh, had okay. on this beautiful pink outfit the other day, gorgeous oh. at the uh, kickoff luncheon. Uh, oh, and what a wonderful woman too. Huh? She is. She's such a delight to design for. Yeah. She's very laid back. Um, and kind of a goal of hers is to really promote Kentucky products. Right. So she chose, you know, Kentucky hat designer, Kentucky bag designer. She really is, um, you know, very hands-on right. in promoting her state. And you know, I mean, and and uh, First Lady Bashir, mm -hmm. she wears her hair a little bit short. Some mm -hmm. people wear their hair big and long and everything. Yeah. I, you've got a, some tips for folks in terms mm -hmm. of when when to pick out a hat and what mm -hmm. would be the right hat mm -hmm. for the right thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I sure do. Um, hair length, um, you know, like, like Mrs. Bashir, right. you know, her hair is a little shorter. Mm -hmm. If you have bangs, a lot of people have bangs, mm -hmm. I always tell them to pin it back, you know, uh, so it's not, you know, falling down. Got it. Um, you know, with long hair, you can wear it down like I have mine, sure. or you can pull it back. Um, you know, if you have a long face, you know, avoid a long crown, got things it. like that. Um, for people with, you know, wider hips, mm -hmm. uh, a wide brim is good because ah, it balances that out. Got it. Keeps everything in line. Uh, small petite people, you know, usually a smaller hat, smaller mm -hmm. brim. Mm -hmm. um, and it's got to like complement the outfit too, it right? It really does. To complement the outfit. We always try to avoid the matchy thing, right. you know, because it, it's hard to do and also, um, you know, it just can be not as creative. Like originally I had purple on. Yeah, you saw me yeah that was purple, the first hat which, that you tried you on this morning. On over there. And, um, and I just felt like I had too much purple. Uh -huh. So I'm wearing black pants. So I pulled out the black feathers in this just to kind of balance it out. Right. And one of the other tips is, do I really need a hat? Now, why wouldn't I need a hat? <laughs> I mean, I know why I don't need a hat, but. Do you really need a hat? Well, you know, I always tell people, if you're going to wear a hat, it's the perfect place. Because sure. everybody is wearing a hat. Of course. Um, you know, technically, you don't need to wear a hat, right. but um, you know, it helps with sun protection, and um, and also you can wear little hats too. Sure. Like Which, yeah, these. let's take a look at these right here yeah. because these are gorgeous. I've never that is so beautiful. Now, yeah. what what would that be designed for? 
this, a lot of people actually wear this to Ascot, things mm. like Ascot, also to the Derby. Okay. Um, I designed this for um, an anchor woman for TVG. It's beautiful. Because uh, she was really tiny and petite, mm -hmm. and you know, a huge hat would just overwhelm right. her. Right. You, you know, people think that yeah, they need a big, really showy display, don't. and this is gorgeous. They really don't. You can wear something little, or something like this too. Right. You know, just a little something to have in your hair that you know, as a compliment, mm -hmm. but not overwhelming, because yeah. some people just don't feel at home in hats. No question. And I totally understand that. Yeah. Now, and you, yeah. you also, I mean, there's some beautiful, mm -hmm. you brought along, and Jeremy's uh, going to get a picture of them right mm -hmm. now, uh, some of the more, I guess you'd say, regular size hats, yeah. right? Yeah, the regular size hats. So how long does it take to do something like we're going to take a look at right okay. here? Um, depending on the hats, I usually say two or three hours. Okay. Two or three hours start to finish, but that doesn't include the time of, you know, ordering supplies, sure. designing it. Um, you know, you have some designs that will work and other designs that, that don't. Right, and there's that purple hat that you had on earlier today, which, yeah. uh, honestly, you looked gorgeous in, but, okay. you know, now that you mention, you don't necessarily need to do the matching thing. Yeah, you really thing. don't. You really don't. And sometimes it's more fun right. to have different colors, you know, contrast with each other. Got it. Uh, yeah. We want to uh, get you in on some of the fun mm -hmm. derby action with one of these uh, spectacular hats that, that Polly has designed. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to give you uh, a free $100 gift certificate toward a Polly Singer hat. All you need to do is email us right now, live at cwlobal.com. And very important here, because it takes Polly, you know, these, uh, again, like she was just talking about, uh, some time to get the materials in, design the hat and everything. We want to make sure that you have it for Derby, so you need to come by the station when, Craig? To, we're we're going to announce it tomorrow morning, but you have to come by the station to get your certificate because we got to get this process going. <laughs> Polly's got a lot of other things to do, and she can't be waiting on you. All right, so no, live at CWLouisville.com is where you email us, and we will announce the winner tomorrow. It's got to be a busy time for you. When do you get some, some sleep in there? Do you get to enjoy the derby <laughs> excitement? Well, I will. You I will. will. I will be there this year, so I do get to enjoy it. But it's 12-hour days, yeah. you know, and, uh, and when, actually when I'm asleep, too, I'm dreaming of hat supplies and things <laughs> I need to order. <laughs> and uh, if uh, people aren't uh, lucky enough to get a hold of that $100 gift certificate mm. towards a hat, where can they get a hold of you if they uh, want to start a design with you right uh, now? They can call me okay. at my phone, 859-533-1426, uh, okay. or uh, go to polysinger.com ah. and contact us. And lots of pictures up there, or mm -hmm. hatsandveils.net as well. Hatsandveils.net, yes, All right. exactly. Uh, how, how you can choose, I have no mm -hmm. idea, but you know, there you go. Polly chose the perfect <laughs> hat for the perfect occasion, and she will have one for you as well. Polly, great to meet you. Thank you. Thanks for Dan. coming by Thanks today. So much. And have I a happy derby. It. Thank you. All you right. Too.